Espresso. Hacks, tips and tricks in under five minutes. Welcome to Espresso. Today with a productivity hack for developers or aspiring ones and tech aficionados for creating PowerPoint slides with ChatGPT. First is the plain way that you may know. You prompt with, please draft four PowerPoint slides about how AI will change the workplace, just to take some example, including productivity and security matters. With this basic prompt, ChatGPT will provide you with the details of the four slides and the content. You can then transfer that information to your PowerPoint slides and you're done. Now here's how developers or aspiring ones can proceed. Please write the VBA code for those slides. This would be your prompt. And then you may wish to skip the part where you would code for a file name and for saving the file, because this may generate some errors depending on your settings. And in this case, you would continue the prompt with a phrase, please skip the code for saving the slides and the file name. I will do this manually. We will be able to save our own file, will we? Okay, now, ChatGPT will deliver your code along with some instructions. Now you simply copy the code and here's what you need to do next. You open up your PowerPoint and to use VBA code, you will need to enable the developer functions on the menu. If you don't see it, follow these steps. You right click on the right side of the ribbon where it's empty. Then you select customize the ribbon. On the right side of the menu box, you select developer and then you click OK. Then you can continue to select the developer menu. Next, you choose visual basic to the very left. This will open a window. In the window, you will select Insert, then Module. Another window will open and you can paste your code there. Please do review the code before you proceed. We don't just copy paste some code into our PowerPoint without checking it. Okay? This is always a useful safety measure. Once you're satisfied, click Run. And ta-da, your PowerPoint slides will be generated. Now you just need to design your presentation to your liking. The designer may open by itself or you can search for it in the search field at the top. With just a few clicks, you can customize your presentation and you're done. That's it. I hope you find this useful. See you next time.